my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2KDev. Um, today we are going to be hanging these on the wall in the shed. Now as you can see, I've already got a couple. I'm using them now as my 3D printer parts holder. But I thought I'd buy a few extra and put them in the shed out the back in the garage. So, this is the product. What we're going to be doing is 3D printing some clips, which I've already made here. And I'll show you the process in which we go through making these and attaching these to the wall. Just as a bit of an example of another one of those nifty, useful 3D printer type projects. So, I guess the first thing to show you is the mounting solution on the back of this product. Um, I picked these up from Aldi, a local supermarket that's recently opened here in Australia. Um, but essentially, these were on sale, I think they were about $16 each, so relatively cheap for what they are which is fantastic because I need a lot of storage as you'll see in the garage later, it is an absolute mess. Essentially, we have created these little clips. I modeled these in Autodesk 123D following the contours of a uh, side of one of these little parts bins, a little bucket on the end there. I have one of those little uh, hooks in the shed where you just basically hang this on the wall and it will stay there. So I thought we'd make an adapter to go from that style of mounting solution to this keyhole style here which I've gone ahead and made these and they just pop up just under there like that under that little lip and hook in and then these here then hook onto the receiving socket which is already mounted on the wall in the garage so without further ado let's move on to the next step printing the parts okay so as you can see this is the part here in Autodesk 123D I modeled this earlier now, I'm not going to go into full details on how to model this part I will make the STL files available it's not really anything special just a couple of extrusions a circle a bit of dodgy hacks here to get the offset of the center of the circle um, moved around and yeah nothing too special but I thought I would just show you the part here in Autodesk 123D, just to show you, so you can get a rough idea of how I did it. Um, yeah, not nothing too special. Um, and then if I pop up into Cura, this is how I laid out the bed while I was printing. I am recording this with my camera, by the way, just because I um, don't have my screen capture software set up for tutorials. And I laid them out like little soldiers uh, waiting to be printed, just because I thought that that might help make the print happen a little bit faster. And um, whether or not it did or did not, I can't say for certain, but uh, that's what they look like, so moving on. So the printer has just finished. I'm going to pull it out and we'll have a look what we've got. So these are the clips that we'll be using to attach those, I don't know what they're called, the, the cases to the wall, I guess. Um, I'm just going to try and pop these off the bed and, have a, and show you what they look like. The surface, oh god, I've lost one. I've lost it. Ha! Recovered. Okay, so the surface quality on these is not bad. As you can see, I have uh, modified the design a little bit so that it has just a little bit more surface area to grab. Um, hopefully that won't cause any problems, but we'll see. I'm going to take these off now and we'll attempt to install them and put it up against the wall. Alright, so I'm back. I have to apologize for the lighting out here. It's not fantastic, but as you can see, I've taken the box and hung it on the wall now using the 3D printed plugs, which you can see if I get the camera possibly in line with the wall. You might be able to see them just down in there. Um, but essentially that's now nice and tight against the wall. It's not going to go anywhere, unless you just do that, but we'll reposition that later. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.